Hey guys, in this video I'm going to explain what is true aperture dimming or f-dim and how would I use it. Rotolite have created a patent protected technology called true aperture dimming that allows you to calculate and display the light output not simply as a brightness percentage, but actually as an f-stop for a given ISO, shutter speed and distance, which eliminates the need for a light meter. To access this feature, first make sure you have firmware 3.0 installed. If you don't, head on over to roguelight.com forward slash support to download the latest firmware for your Neo 3 or AOS 2. To access f-dim, click on the settings tab within the light and scroll down to the menu option that says f-dim. Click on the right hand arrow. In this screen, what you'll now find across the top is a range of input values to tell the light what your current camera settings are. In this instance, what you can do is tell the light what is the maximum ISO that you're happy to shoot. For example, 400 or 800. I could now dial into the light ISO 800. Then on the top left, I can enter my current shutter speed. Now this is gonna be determined typically by your focal length. For example, if you're shooting a 50 mil, you're gonna to wanna to be at least 1 25th of a second. So I can enter 1 25th of a second. And then on the bottom left, I can enter the light brightness. So I can put that up to 100%. What this now allows me to do in the top right is the light now knows I'm shooting at ISO 100, 1 25th of a second. And in the middle, I can enter the distance approximately to my model. So let's say my model is going to be, for example, three feet away. The light is now automatically calculating the brightness as an f-stop in the top right. So it's telling me for those settings, this light is currently at f7.2. Now I may not want to shoot at f7.2. For example, I might want to shoot at f1.4. So I can now dial the right hand knob down and the light is adjusting itself as an f-stop. So it's correctly exposed for ISO 800, 1 25th of a second, and for example, f1.4. What this feature allows you to do is to dial in very quickly your settings and achieve the correct exposure on your light for exactly how you want to shoot. It eliminates the need for a light meter and can save a lot of time. Do bear in mind that the FDIM mode is calculating the output of the light in continuous mode. If you want to shoot in flash, in flash mode the light provides one stop more power. So just factor that in when you're doing your calculations. So that's the brand new true aperture dimming or FDIM mode you can find in firmware 3.0. For more information, head on over to roguelight.com. Otherwise, hit like and subscribe.